So Monk is sold a few months ago already, and we have been looking at a lot of boats. And at the moment, I'm on my way to Penemunde, which is at the Polish border, and for me about a 800 kilometer drive. And we still have 250 kilometers to go. We've been looking at several boats. I did make some footage, but it was not always that easy because owners were on the boat. Or, well, I'll, I can show you some pictures I made later on. But first ship we were looking at was uh, Contest 37. It was a very nice boat, but when I visited the ship for the second time, it, the teak deck wasn't as good as I thought the first time and needed a lot of work. And then I skipped that boat. Then we were looking at a Convertina, which had a bad teak deck and the interior I didn't like. And I had a look at a Daler, which I didn't like. And I had a look at well, Effect Try 1122, but the owner well, is still looking for a bigger boat, which he can't find. So the boat is not on the market yet. Otherwise, it would have been a perfect new boat. So now I'm off to Penemunde. I'm going to look to uh, Nord Nordica 43. So that's a bit bigger boat than uh, we've seen till now. The biggest till now was a Koopmans 40 foot, which I didn't like either because the, this boat was so packed with, yeah, a lot of nonsense, which I didn't like, and it was, was much overpriced, so that one didn't turn out to be right as well. So now this Nordica uh, 33 DS, I believe is the real name, the total name, and uh, but it's it's a long way drive, <laughs> it's a day drive to get there. So I'll go there, have a hotel tonight, and uh, have an appointment with the broker uh, at noon. Uh, where the ship is. So I'm really excited. At the pictures, the boat looks very, very nice. It's, uh, it's big. It's 
big boat. It's got, it's not a deck saloon, but it's got a bit like a <coughs> deck saloon image because the, 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 the space well, it's very light and very, uh, very, it looks like a very comfortable uh, boat. It's not a well-known boat, there are only three of them made in this type, so that's uh, quite uh, exceptional. And there's one test available online from the ship, and this test was pretty positive about the speed and about the, the handling of the ship. And it's got a lot of features from which I think is nice. It's two, it does have a teak deck, but it is replaced in 2010. So, well, it should be in a good condition. So I'm very excited. Maybe this will be the new the new monk. You'll see. Well, it's about uh, two and a half hours, I think. No, three hours drive minimum. And then tomorrow uh, we'll go have a close look, and this time uh, I'll film it so I can uh, share some uh, some footage with you.
far. I'm at uh, Nordica again. I visited the boat the ship yesterday with the broker and now it's Sunday morning and I decided to have a quick look again on my own. This is always a bit more easy. And I must say the vessel looks very very nice indeed. It has a very nice space downstairs but the most nice thing about this ship is the space upstairs. Uh, you can't see it like this but it's got this huge sitting area covered with hard glass so it's actually an extra space it makes it look like a kind of deck saloon it's like a lot i love all the lights and this can all be opened you can open of course the back and it's got this targa roof and on the pictures it looks a little bit like, like a porsche 911 targa from the 70s which i like a lot so well that's the visit it's I just checked the bottom for any damages, or which I didn't do yesterday very securely, so I did it now with a good flashlight. And a few things, the, the gas installation needs to be replaced, it's old and rusty. And also the technical installation for navigation is old. It's got this old low ones radar navigation and oh, this is nice it's got a big gyro track thing on the back which is for uh, satellite television you can't see it from here but it is a huge and you can see it here right after in the corner it's on the aft of the ship and that's combined with a television and a receiver well, that uh, can be sold because I uh, I think on a ship you don't need any television and you can better, better stay up, uh, I'm not sure. Um, okay, well the kitchen is okay, it's not big, but the size is good enough. And the front cabin, the owner's cabin, cabin this one is very, very nice. It's combined with the... With the head, you have your own head. It's a nice big area, lots of light. Mattresses are, I didn't check them yesterday. Uh, I think maybe we'll put something on top of it to make them a bit thicker. But uh, okay. This is a nice bed. It's nice, it's not that high, so you don't have to. There's a little step down there, so you can step on board easily. The meaning of course is that I'm going to get old on the ship, so <laughs> this might be nice for my 80s. And not that, well, you know what I mean? It's easy to get into the bed, that's for sure. Okay, so that's the inside. Some little things like here, this closed, this one. This. Oh, that, that. Never seen that on a Victoire. It has to be repaired. The doors are closed. Good. On the keel, there are no signs of any damages or ground strikes. I don't know if you call it like that, but. Actually, I think this boat wasn't used that much. The, the owner only sailed here at the Ostsee. We are here in the north of Germany, at the Polish border. And, well, that's not so exciting. Okay, well, I did already check the outside. It was good to have a quick look by myself. And, uh, well, now we have to see what kind of offer we have to make to... Okay, it's been two weeks since I visited Penemunde and had a look at uh, Nordica 43. 
and after a lot of thinking, a lot of searching on the internet, talking to some people who really know what they're talking about, uh, we, my wife and I, we decided to, to buy one. So I just made the first payments and well, that makes it kind of official. We bought Nordica and that will be the new monk for our new adventures. Um, she's still in the inside at the moment and they have to do new anti fouling and she will be in the water we'll hope to get her in the water about the half of march so that's in about one and a half month and then we'll do a day of testing we'll make an uh, we'll test the compression of the motor to have a little bit of an idea what's what's inside but it was very well kept so i don't expect any problems in that uh to have a look at the sails and the equipment well everything that which we couldn't test the vessel was on site inside will do then and after that me and i think one or two of my friends of mine will bring her back bring her to the to the netherlands to the home harbor this will take yeah, so the fast the fastest you would be able to do it in about seven days i think you go through the Kila canal and well Kila canal takes two days to get to kill will be well two days as well and then from the Kila canal to cookshaven from cookshaven of the islands you needed about three days then it will be very fast but it's still march so it's weather can be bad in that time can be very stormy so uh, two and a half weeks i think we'll need so we have time to wait if the weather is not good enough and no that's about that's the plan so very exciting to see uh, very curious how she behaves on the water, how she will sail and uh, well you can uh, if you follow this channel you can be a part of that so subscribe and like and uh, if you know anything about the brand Nordica it was uh, ship was made in Denmark it was a Danish uh, brand but I can't find anything online because well they don't exist anymore and i only can find two other nordica 43s uh, i found some pictures of it uh, online but maybe there are more maybe uh, well, if you know anything if you can tell anything about the uh, brand uh, please leave a comment because uh, i'm cur curious about that and next time we'll be on the water again and uh, you see how she behaves Okay, well, thank you. Bye.